elected officials around the country who refuse to listen to the will of the people. To all the activist judges who ignore the spirit of our laws by rewriting our history, erasing our values, traditions, and denying we are one nation under God. We are not Nazis. We are not racists. We are not mobsters. Oh, let us be independent. Let us stand for ourselves. To a rapidly expanding government that has shamefully and criminally plunged America from the number one creditor nation to the number one debtor nation on the planet. We cannot afford this. Period. Keep the government out of it. We're doing just fine. Say no to socialism. This is a vehicle to take us down to a path of total socialism. And to a deaf and reading impaired new regime in Washington who arrogantly dismiss a nationwide grassroots uprising by labeling patriotism and pride in country as extremism. I'm carrying swastikas and symbols like that. You want to be let out of here, you're welcome to go. I don't understand this rudeness. What is this? I say to all of them, put your ear to the ground. A terrifying rumble is shaking this nation, beating an unmistakable tattoo that demands, listen to us or your days are numbered. I am going to speak my mind before I... I'm sick of the lies. I don't like being lied to. I don't like being lied about. Now I understand why people are angry, and now I'm angry too. The long sleep is over. In town hall meetings all over the country, from Olympia, Washington, to Osborne, Kansas, to Williamsport, Pennsylvania, to Deland, Florida, a giant is awakening. A giant who has never been defeated. That giant's name is We the People, silent no more. You have awakened the sleeping giant. We are tired of this. This is why everybody in this room is so ticked off. Don Wright, as a It happened in 1776, and now it's happening again. Americans are standing up and shouting in one voice, enough is enough. We're returning our republic to its rightful owners, the legal citizens of the United States of America. On this night of shining possibilities, in our country's largest city, before a worldwide audience of millions, Americans are again sending the message of hope to all who would be free. With all due respect, you work for us. Leave us alone. That's all we would ask. Would you leave us alone? That message is clear. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. My name is Thomas Paine. May God bless America.